the race for the White House just got a bit more crowded. We need a president willing to challenge and disrupt the whole culture in our nation's capital. 62-year-old Bush made his candidacy official this afternoon at Miami-Dade Community College. He's entering the race as a top-tier candidate, but his moderate views on immigration and support for Common Core education standards could cost him some conservative votes. Jeb Bush will square off against his Republican rivals, including fellow Floridian Senator Marco Rubio, in the party's first debate, August 6th. Good morning on this Friday. Thanks for waking up with us. T-G-I-A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Mark McKeon. <laughs> I'm Bridget Ellison, and Troy is here as well. We have been waiting for the end of the <laughs> week, and we've had some rain and storms. Today, the good thing is it's going to be a little drier for the Troy, it's the sunshine state. Yes. Not it, the rain state. We need to see some sun. <laughs> yes. True. You know, when it comes to Justin Bieber, there are big fans, and there are also some big haters out there. But coming up, we're going to explain why one major store in the U.S. is now saying no to playing certain songs from the Beatles. Uh -oh. And it has nothing to do with its customers, we'll explain. <laughs> Delio has pleaded not guilty to the charge. We'll be at tomorrow morning's court hearing, and we'll let you know what happens on ClickOrlando.com. Tonight, a new picture of the Georgia boy who was struck by lightning in Daytona Beach Shores. Bowen Tyree's family just posted this photo online. It's a snapshot of the 11-year-old's hand in the hospital. The caption with the picture reads, Thank you, Lord. I can still hold this sweet boy's hand. Now, there are a lot of singers out there that people <laughs> either really love or really hate. Yes, it's true. And now we're learning at least some of those songs are being banned at one major store. Walmart says... Sounds like a terrible place to work. It's hot, it's cold, you, you don't know, like the music. My twin, uh, they're 11, he calls him Justin Beaver. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. What? Beaver. It, well, it's a name we, we're not used to hearing. It's Good evening, I'm Mark McEwen. First at 11, a missing 11-year-old girl from Seminole County who for much of the night was part of a statewide alert. We just learned a little more than an hour ago that she's safe. Feelings of worthlessness, jealousy, and anger. That's what investigators in Palm Bay now say caused a 33-year-old woman to kill all three of her children. Governor Rick Scott has ordered flags to be flown at half-staff today across Brevard County. It's all as final goodbyes begin for a local soldier killed in Afghanistan. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark McKeown. Have a wonderful evening.